Welcome to this new Java Labs tutorial. In my previous video, I explained what are streams and that stream, uh, stream pipeline consists of a source, like for example, a list, which we want to uh, process and uh, some intermediate operation. And uh, we use some uh, operations like map filter and for each as a terminal operation. In this video, uh, I will cover uh, other topics. Uh, we will illustrate the problem with the map operation, which we use in my previous video. And we will see how we can solve this problem using the flat uh, map operation. And we will have uh, a deep dive in uh, collectors. Um, let's start. Um, um, assume now we ha I have here two lists. Uh, I have two lists and I have a map which uh, contains these two lists. And I want now to process this map and uh, print only the names which are included in uh, those two lists. Let's see what's, uh, what the problem here. Um, what's can, what I can do, I will go for map, then entry set, then stream. Let's format uh, our code. Then I will, um, no, my map is map this uh, each entry inside the, uh, the map to the entry value. And now I can use the for each terminal operation to uh, print the result to the console. And print line, colon, colon, so, colon, colon, print line. Okay. Now um, let's execute our code and see what will happen. Okay, um, our goal was to print the, the names uh, themselves uh, from the, uh, pre pre uh, the first list and the, the second list. But what we got here, we have printed the, um, the two lists themselves. Because if you see here, we have a stream of a list of string. Uh, and uh, um, that means the downstream, downstream here for the each terminal operation will be the list itself, the first bit in the second list. And that's why we have got here in, the, in our console uh, uh, the, the, the list uh, uh, their self here and uh, printed to the console. Um, uh, let's see how we can solve now this uh, problem using the flat map and uh, this will help us to uh, to see what is the difference between the flat map and the map operation. But uh, before, let me call my map here because it's a bit confusing. It's confused uh, with the map operation itself. Let's call it yeah uh, something like my my map. Okay. Okay, let's clear here everything. Okay, um, now let's do the same. Let's copy our previous code and try to do the same with flat map. Flat map and the flat map, let's step into the flat map operation. The flat map operation expect a function um, and will return a stream. Uh, then now, if I pick up the stream here from uh, the entry value, and you can see here, with the map operation, I have a stream of lists of string. But with the flat map operation, I have flattened my stream to the string. That means instead of having list, a stream of list of string, I have now a stream of string. That means I have flattened my, my result here, my, my, my sequence here to, to a stream 
of string. Uh, that means now with the flat map, I have the entries of each list and not a stream of both lists. And now if I print this to the console, okay, as you can see with the first, uh, with our first code, we are getting the two lists, but with our second uh, call, uh, code, where we are using the flat map, we are now getting the, the entries there. So, uh, Peter, Thomas, Anna, Barbara, Simon, Frank, uh, and Sabina Simon. I have here uh, some duplicates like Barbara um, uh, is included in both lists and Simon also. Now we can uh, also um, get rid of this, uh, this duplicates. Uh, using collectors, let's collect and collectors not joining, but I want to collect to to a set to get rid of uh, the duplicate. Let's run our code again. Okay, and now you can see I have no duplicates here. Thomas, Barbara, Simon, Peter, Zabina, Frank, and Anna. Um, uh, that means um, here, if you can, you can see using the flat map, we can read, uh, get rid of. Um, let's write it here. Get rid of. Um, uh, rid of a stream. Of stream of some types like let's see yeah this type is L and this is the problem which we had here we have a stream of a stream and using the map the normal map operation we cannot flatten our sequence which we are getting here but using the flat map we can flatten our uh, our sequence now we have a stream of string and here we have a stream of list. I'm repeating this because it's very uh, important to to make um, this this difference in order to distinguish between the two operations between map and a flat map because both of them while uh, have the same return type a stream like you see here stream stream but using the flat map I can flatten my my uh, my sequence. Um, now, as you can see, here, I am using here collectors. Uh, I'm collecting my downstream to a set in order to eliminate duplicate entries. Let's comment this code. Okay. Uh, but here, um, many things are happening in the in the in the in the in the background. The API is doing more more stuff to uh, to collect. The entries from the flat map here to to a set. Let's uh, have a, a dive, a deep dive to see how this works. And what I'm going I'm going to explain here will help you um, to apply this uh, this stuff which I'm going to explain uh, to every collectors. And uh, afterwards, you will feel comfortable with, um, with uh, while using collectors because collectors, which has come with uh, Java eight. Uh, is a really powerful tool, but um, uh, only if you you understand um, how to use them. Let's see what I'm doing here. Yeah, let's copy this code, or let's let's uh, dive here. Let's step into. Um, keep in mind while using the stream API, we are expressing what we are, we want to do. That means here collectors to set. I am uh, ex uh, I am expressing here that I want to have a collector uh, which can collect my my sequence here to um, to a set let's uh, step into that means here um, what's uh, what's uh, which is what is happening in in the background i i will get a collector uh, which which has a supplier this supplier will deliver me uh, will will deliver a hash set um, and we'll use this cumulator operation. Uh, it's called cumulator operation. And it will use this operation to, uh, to uh, uh, accumulate the, the entries inside the, the hash set. That means it will add step by step each entry to, uh, to the hash set. 
And then we have here um, uh, what we call the let's go to the constructor. Um, a collector uh, has a supplier, uh, accumulator, and a combiner, which combines the, the entries in the uh, supplied data structure from the supplier. And the, accumu uh, the accumulator will be used to accumulate the entries inside the data structure, which the supplier will uh, uh, provide me. And the combiner is used to combine the elements. Let's go back here. And let's copy this code. Let's copy this code here, just to explain what is happening in the background step by step. Because as I said, this is very important to understand. Okay, let's, okay. Now, this is the first step, collectors to say that means a collector with uh, a collector would be instantiated for me. And then in the second step, I'm calling the collect method. Yeah? Um, what is the collect method is doing? Let's um, have a look to the implementation. Yeah? The collector method will use the collector which will be provided, as I told you here, as I showed you here. We'll use this collector to do, to do some stuff. Uh, let's see what is uh, what this collect method is doing. That means um, here again. Let's copy this code. Okay, the collect the collect method is expecting a collector. This is the collector what I showed you before, and it's doing this stuff. Let's uh, uh, forget about is parallel is is is, uh, is checking if the stream is parallel. But what's what is uh, interesting, interesting for us is this, this, this part. Yeah? This part, let's copy this part. Here, let's, okay, and Okay, this is the first part. That is what the collect method is doing after some checks here. Uh, forgot about this uh, for the moment. And this part also. Yeah. Okay. Okay, then now let's try to understand this step by step. As I said, the collect method, that is what what's the collect method is doing. Container is equal uh, collector supplier gets. This is our supplier. That means um, uh, calling the get method because the supplier uh, will use this get method to give us this uh, has said. That means it will happen something like, um, this is to compare with something like, um, yeah, container. Container is equal. Yeah, we saw in the previous, uh, in our pre in my previous uh, video, how to use a lambda expression to um, to implement supplier and uh, function interface and so on. That means collector dot supplier dot get will do this uh, it's is to uh, to understood uh, as the following a new this means the supplier will deliver me with a, a new will, will provide me a new hash set new hash set yeah okay this is the first step then we have here be consumer um and we, uh, the API is implementing, uh, the Java the Stream API is implementing the construct in that way, which, that is uh, calling the collector accumulator. And as I told before, as I showed you before, the, the accumulator is nothing uh, else but this, this method. That means this also we can, let's move this to the new line. Yeah. Uh, and let's do the same here. 
This is very important to understand. And if you would understand this, you will be you will be feeling very comfortable while using the uh, the, and the collectors. Um, we have a big consumer, and we the, the API is trying to implement the big, uh, the, the big consumer in that way. That is calling collector, and collector in our uh, in our case is this collector here, and from there the API is fetching the accumulator, and the accumulator in, the, in this case is our set ad. Yeah? That means it's this line is to compare with this line. Yeah. Okay, and now we have this finishing uh, uh, finishing uh, operation. Uh, let's have a look here again. I hope you can follow me. Okay, we have a supplier which which provide us a data structure where we want to collect our data. In, in this case, the data structure is. Uh, hash set, then we have the accumulator, and the accumulator is uh, this uh, the, the method, uh, the hash set method add, which will accumulate our data in the uh, in the data which the supplier will deliver. In that case, the hash set, that means the accumulator will accumulate our data in the hash set. Then we have the combiner, yeah, and a combiner. The combiner in in our case um, the combiner in our case the, the combiner in our case is this method yeah but let's let's uh, skip this step um, because we will see later on uh, the combiner is not used uh, in in this case because because the next step is this this uh, uh, line of code here. That means now, um, as a next step, we have uh, for each operation, terminal operation, which um, will uh, will which will uh, which is implemented using the accumulator. The accumulator in this one, uh, the accumulator is here, and it will apply this method. To the contain to this uh, two arguments. The container in our case is the hash set, and uh, u is our entry. That means it will take each entry in our case, um, each string, and it will add it to our container, which is uh, which is the hash set. So again. Um, this is what what the the collect the collects method is doing. First, I am requiring a collector. This is the collector which I will get. Each collector has this signature. We have a supplier which will supply a data set. In our case, a hash set. Then we have a accumulator method. In this case, the add method from the set. Uh, and we have a combiner which is in this case here not used because of this uh, this check here yeah because of this check collector characteristic contains collector characteristic then it will it will it will deliver us uh, the container itself and otherwise it will apply the the, the finisher operation and here let's go again okay then i have um then the collect operation will call the supplier get method. In that case, I will get a hash set, new hash set. Then in the next step, we are implementing the big consumer yeah, uh, with the set add method. And as a terminal operation, we are calling now, we're applying, we're applying this method uh, on these two arguments, the container, that means the hash set, and the the entry that means we will add each entry to the containers the hash set okay yeah and that's it uh, this is what's what uh, happened behind the scenes and this applied to each collectors to each collector which we use in that way in this way okay first we are expressing i i need a collector then this collector will be used by the collect operation in that way 
uh, the supplier will be called, then I am getting a data structure, then uh, we, are imp uh, we are getting the accumulator in that case. In, this, in our case, this is the set add operation, and this accumulator will apply, uh, this B consumer will apply this operation to these two arguments, the container, which is the hash set, and to my entry. Uh, yeah. And now let, let's have another, uh, another example. Let's assume now I want, um, I want to, to, to print the list to combine these entries, uh, to combine these entries from both, both list, and they want to do something like this, to print something like, th like this to the console uh, and remove the duplicates also. And uh, this is one advice for me. Uh, if you use some, uh, I am I am myself a senior consultant. I have more uh, than ten years of experience, and I try once I am uh, once I start using an API, I try to figure out what is happening behind the scene, because uh, this this code snippet you can Google it in, in in Google, then you will find the result how to uh, to uh, to do it. But uh, to understand what is happening, like for example here with collectors. This you have to investigate yourself to get more familiar with the API. And like this, you can improve your, uh, your, your programming skill. Um, uh, let's let's, let's uh, try this. We want to uh, print our both lists or our uh, entries from both lists to the console and remove the, the duplicates. Like here, we have Barbara, Barbara. I will remove this one. And we have Zimon. Then Simon, then I will. I want to print uh, this this thing here using also collectors. Let's copy this code here. Okay, and now instead of using a collectors of uh, a, uh, of sets, I will use the joining collector. Not this one. Come on. Join in collector, which expects a delimiter, a prefix. Delimiter in our case will be comma. The prefix will be uh, uh, the the acolyte braces and. Uh, yeah, and the suffix the same. This is our pref this is our prefix. This is our prefix. This is our delimiter, the comma, and this is our suffix. Let's try this. As I told, delimiter is comma. This is our prefix, and this is our suffix. Okay, and now I will get a string. That's why here I cannot iterate over using the for ship op uh, uh, operation because it's not a it's not a stream. That means let's save the result here in a string and let's sort sort the result in uh, to the to the console. Now let's uh, let's print our our code. Let's comment this one again, or let's uh, let's uh, something like this. Okay. Now let's run our code. So as you can see, I joined my entries from both lists using this uh, prefix and this suffix and uh, this delimiter. Let's put a space here. But as you can see, I have still uh, duplicates. Barbara, Barbara, Simon, Simon. I can get rid of uh, this uh, duplicate using the distinct operation.
So, Peter, Thomas, Anna, Barbara, Simon, Frank, Sabine, Sabine. That means they that I don't have any uh, any duplicates. And here again, the same the same thing which I explained here apply to this joining uh, collectors. Like here, I am um, expressing I wish like give me a collector that will be the collector here. I will have again. I will have again a supplier, but the supply in this case uh, differs a little bit. Let's see. Okay. Okay, this is the collector which I'm, I will get in this case. This is my supplier. I will get a string joiner with the delimiter and prefix and suffix. Uh, and this is my accumulator in this case. It will accumulate the results in the string joiner. And this is the, the finisher operation. That means once once I have uh, uh, all the entries in my string, uh, string joiner, uh, in my string joiner, uh, the two string method will use the delimiter and the prefix, the delimiter in the middle and the prefix uh, at the uh, at the beginning, the suffix at the end, let's jump into it, step into it, sorry. As you can see here, it will use the prefix uh, at the beginning and the delimiter in between each time after each entry and at the end it will use the suffix. Yeah. Um, that is uh, because the our finisher operator uh, operation is a two-string in this case. Okay. We have here supplier again. I'm repeating this again and again because it's really important to understand it. I have a supplier. My supplier in this case is the string joiner. I will get string joiner with my delimiter, my prefix and my suffix. And this is the accumulator operation, which will be used to add the, my entries uh, step by step in the string joiner. And at the end, this is the finisher operation, uh, which will be used to, uh, to append the, 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 the uh, append the prefix and prepend the suffix at the end. And then like this, I will get my result. Yeah, that's it from my side. I hope that this video was very useful for you and very helpful. And don't forget uh, to like the video if you like it and to subscribe to the channel. Um, I hope I, I could uh, help you with this video. And uh, yeah, I will, I will provide some other subsequent videos uh, to cover the, the, some other stream API. Yeah. Thanks a lot for joining me and for watching this video and see you next time. Bye.